Hey, love bucks, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you for the love and support that you've been giving me. Um, just let me know that you totally resonate with the videos that I've been putting out, especially with us going through so much right now. You know, I try to make sure I just send all the messages that, you know, universe gives me. So I'm glad that this, this is able to give you validation on a lot of the things that you're experiencing. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you just have to tell me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos just give you good vibes or good information that you would love to share with the fellow empaths, you know, especially if they're really going through problem, you know, troubled times right now, which we all are experiencing one way or another, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites, wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for, you know, giving me that be those beautiful touching comments as well as sending the vibes is greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to, you know, resonate with the content of my video. And today, my meditation song, it, it got, it had me crying, y'all. I was crying before <laughs> I sat up here and started my video. It's called Healing Prayer Meditation, Music Instrumental to Overcome Stress. Uh, what is it? Overcome Stress, Anxiety, and Depression. And I will post that link in the description box below. And today, my video is about Twin Flame 101 when Archangel... Michael comes into your mind. It was like after I did my last video day before yesterday, I was laying down because I was so like so tired because I did like three and a half, close to three, yeah, three and a half hours or whatever you want to call it, <laughs> three and a half hours because it was like okay, 160 minutes. No, it was more than that because I had lost count, but I noticed what time I did. I was like, Dad, you've been exercising for almost three hours and then you're doing videos back to back, which is a good blessing you were able to do. I was just so tired and I guess I'm you know still going through little things and stuff like that trying to heal and all, all of a sudden I start hearing Archangel Michael in my head the, the name Archangel Michael and then you know I know all the different you know Archangels like Uriel and um, Raphael and stuff like that so you know with him coming in my head it's just like all of a sudden I just start tearing up this morning because I forgot all about looking it up to see what you know it was trying to tell me and it's just when you think about Archangel Michael you know you know when he's around because you'll see like cobalt blue which is one of my favorite colors royal blue uh, royal, royal purple which is also one of my favorite colors and I just broke down because it was like anytime you're going through a crisis or trying to make sure you're doing the right decision going the right way or making the right decisions in your life to be reassured he comes and helps so it's just like anytime you're meditating about something or you are contemplating on the things that you need to do because like I said a lot of us is going through a lot of things right now and it's just like so many people that I'm coming to play with especially people I've went to school with uh, being on social media with them, I'm seeing so many people going through things left and right, left and right, you know, and some people are open to the fact that they might be empaths and some of them, you know, people fear what they don't understand. So they might, you know, I'm like, eh, I don't want to hear that. But I said, it's okay. You know, the message is always there. You know, I always give people that, that chance of free will, either you're going to go to accept it or you're not going to accept it, you know, but if you don't accept it more, much more down the line, you might go through a lot more stuff if you don't recognize the gift that is being presented it to you so it, it's just like there's times when I'm you know I'm just looking up like when they're zero in on a certain person or whatever and I'm just like man do I really got to do this today you know because it's like a touchy subject it's different when you don't you know you haven't known these people for a long time but people you know since you grew up with and you're telling this stuff it's kind of uneasy to me but I don't know why it's like that but it's like that but it's just a blessing to be able to know 
that the things that I do is for a good cause. It's like I'm not looking for anything in return. It's just the fact is what I love in return is when you are able to reassure like, you know what, Rosalind's putting out some good content. I can so totally relate to the things she's talking about. I've been going through these certain situations. Those are the blessings I love in return, knowing that that's giving you the confirmation or validation that, you know, I'm not going crazy because there's sometimes you got to second guess like, is something wrong with me? Or, you know, because you don't want to talk about that to certain people. And if you do, they don't understand. Because if they're not on your level, there's a lot of people out here that's not woke yet. So if you run around here telling them stuff, they're going to be looking at you like, this person's crazy. I don't know what you're talking about. Our family are like, hey, are you all right? <laughs> are you doing okay? I'm like, heck yeah, I'm doing fine. You need to wake up. You know, I'm already awake. You still sleep. Wake up. So it's just like when you're going through things and you start hearing um, certain archangels is coming to you, knowing they're, they're there for your assistance. You know, all you can do is ask. They can't invade into your life unless it's, unless it's like a life and death situation. It's not time for you to, you know, cross over yet. You know, that's the only time they'll tend to intervene. And it's just the way I work as well. I'll put that presence out there to you. But if you're not trying to, you know, go in deep and find out the reason why you're going through the things you're going through i can't make you do that so it's just like a blessing when i know that when i'm going through something i know i'm praying about it and just wondering are they hearing what i'm saying yeah they are hearing what you're saying you know but there's times when you could be so stressed out and so st fixated on the things that you're going through it's hard for you to see the signs around you that everything is going to be okay it's just all a process you have to go through because a lot of people i get one-on-ones with you know and it, it's hard at times to hear it's always i'm not hard at times but there's a lot of times I take it to heart about the things that people are going through because I hate crying. It's just like, you know, I, I it's like lately I've been so open towards everybody lately that I'm feeling everybody's energy is coming and I'm hearing the thoughts in their head and the things that they're going through. So it's really hard when you cannot take that pain away from them because it's all a process they have to go through for them to be able to release everything. So no trust and believe when you're going through stuff like this. It's a process that you have to go through. I know at times when we go through stuff, you're like, why do I got to keep going through stuff like this? You know, I'm, I'm pushing out positivity. I'm trying to think positive. I'm being patient. But these things keep coming at me. All these things you're having to face, even though things that are coming to you psychologically, um, is, is probably stuff that you just shoot away and just like, I didn't want to deal with that at that time instead of actually releasing that thought and letting it go it's going to come back and when it comes back it's going to come back 10 times harder or if you're going through something and you're so fixated on the things that just happened even though it's like in the past tense it's like yeah this just happened about 10 15 minutes ago which is considered in the past so if you keep fixating on that you're bringing more you know bad vibes towards your way and you're just like okay this happened let me just let it go. Trust me, I'm a, I'm, I'm a suspect to that myself. Cause especially if somebody make me mad, I'm just like, you know what? I'm just so... Da, 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 you know, and then just get really aggravated about it. And then you can, 10 minutes later, you're still coming back talking about that. Don't be surprised when something like this happens back to back to back to back to back. So it, it's just like what they're telling you is, look, the, the situations you're in, you know, the people that have hurt you, that's just indicating, you know, it's a blessing in disguise. And, you know, I know a lot of people be, you know, when they're in their feelings, they're like, Rosalind, what are you talking about? This is a messed up feeling. Yes, it is. But when universe is heading you towards a certain direction, they're going to have all type of people coming at you crazy. And it's just going to be like, you know what? These are the people spotlight that you need to have out your life. That's fine. You know, not everybody's going to agree with what you're saying. Not everybody's going to like you. There's going to be things thrown at you you really don't understand, especially if, you know, you've been you know, a good person towards people. That's fine. That tells a lot about their character and a lot, a lot about yours. But yours is in a good light. Then they're just having to catch up with you. So, you know, pass them on and keep on moving. But keep doing you and keep shining and keep climbing. But just know when you're hearing certain, you know, certain um, archangels in your head or you start envisioning them, they're trying to send you a message. They're there to help you you know, heal with whatever you're going through and knowing all you have to do is ask. Everything's at free will. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content in this video. Y'all, I had to take me a break yesterday. I was tired because you can see on the last videos I was doing, I was drained. You know, 
lights flashing all over the place and everything acting crazy. So I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> let me go rest. This is enough right now. So I uh, missed y'all, but I had to go ahead and take me a break and do me. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video. Much love to you. Everything is starting off at the beginning of the week. And, you know, I hope y'all have a blessed week. Um, send out as much love and light as you positively can. Like and subscribe. You can hit that notification bell, you know, so you so you uh, can know when I'm about to upload my next video and plus I can go ahead and give you a shout out um, on my next video and um, I'm giving a shout out out, out to uh, Rico James one of my old uh, my old classmate um, let me see Ballsy Halsey Edge of the Sun and Lisa Johnson much love to you as well and Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your, your better days. You know, I, I pray for y'all each and every day. So, I hope you have a peaceful, peaceful, prosperous week. Much love to you. Peace. Be wild.